Hey everyone. Um, so this is our first uh, demo hour and office hour. So welcome everyone. Uh, the first part, uh, we are going to start with some questions. If you have uh, any general questions about Airbyte, uh, issues, features, you can send on the chat. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? Uh, and if anyone don't have any questions, we can start doing the demo the presentation. Good. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah. Uh, so congrats on the new GitHub native connector. I'm, re I'm really excited about it. Uh, I started playing with it in one of my Airbyte deployments yesterday. Um, I I've got a couple of questions that I was hoping maybe you could help me work out. Um, so essentially, the issue that I'm having is uh, I'm, I'm still getting empty tables for some of the streams. Um, it's a different issue than it was with the Singer connector, though. With the Singer connector, I, I pretty much like narrowed it down to being related to the size of the stream. And what, I think what the working theory was that we were getting a connection reset at some point while it was pulling data, and that the the Singer uh, GitHub tap like wasn't dealing with that well, and that that's basically what was halting the process and resulting in all the remaining tables coming up empty. Um, the the new GitHub native connector uh, seems to have issues with certain specific streams. So for example, uh, the, the issues stream or issue labels, it just refuses to actually pull any records from those streams. Um, in the logs, that there are things that are like suggestive of why that might be. And I should actually further clarify that I'm working with 0.1.0. .0, and I saw actually that you just released 0 0.1.1. .1, so maybe these issues are are fixed. I, I guess like maybe I'm curious about what the changes were in, in you know, 1.1. .1. Yeah, I think uh, one community member made a modification on the GitHub yesterday. But it was related with the pull request of the stream, so not about the issues. I'm, I'm curious because I, I use the connector, but I only uh, pull data from the stream, uh, the issue stream, and I, I couldn't get the data. So maybe when you are using all the streams, you got some problems, but we can dive into it and solve that. So uh, the, the, go ahead, sorry. No, no. I, I just want to say that at the moment we have uh, we have the native connector, so it's much more easy to to give the support and dive into and be more responsive on the problems. So this is is a good. That's great. Yeah. Um. So previously with the Singer connector, the workaround was to sync one stream at a time, and as long as the individual streams weren't too large, you would get populated tables with no difficulty. But it seems like even with a single stream selected, like if I select only the issues stream, for example, um, I, it just won't pull data from, from that stream. Uh, I'm not really sure why or if, if that came up in testing on your end. I'd really like to hear about like maybe if people have tried it, it's like working for them. I can actually share a screen and like show you some things from the logs if you're curious, uh, or I can take it over to the uh, troubleshooting channel in Slack as well. Yeah, I think you can post on the the troubleshooting section of the channel, because okay. I know that it's other users uh, uh, using already the new connector. So maybe it's something that is good to discuss with the community and and so with them. Sure. Cool. All right. Yeah, I don't want to monopolize the time either. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Uh, people, uh, Christopher is here with, uh, with us. So Christopher is the, the guy who works a lot on, with the normalization. So if you have any questions about this, this is the guy you can have a, a good response. And thanks, Robert, for the question and being so active on the community. I, I, I'm really waiting for the, your uh, uh, tool to use Airbyte with the young files, please. Uh, any further questions? We can or we can start. Oops.
Okay. Uh, so, let me see. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to start to to doing the demo presentation, but feel free to ask uh, any questions that other people from the team can answer you or address them to me. The idea is to show how to use the basic normalization, export that to use as a custom uh, normalization and leverage that. So I think and just to show to you what's, what is important, wh why you need to do that. Uh, maybe sometimes you want to uh, customize the air byte transformations, like ordering uh, columns, changing uh, for specific types of the data types you want to have your destination. So this can be helpful to you. Or if you want to already um, add some uh, post uh, transformations using dbt this can also work for you or if you don't want to use all the the streams or things like that you can like export these generate models and have your own uh, dbt project and use with the airbyte raw uh, process so airbyte at the moment so if you want to to read about there is three uh, documents here so uh, I really recommend you guys to read this, so explain how uh, the C codes are generated, how the transformations with DBT are made on with Airbyte, and the last one is how we are going to use with the custom DBT process with Airbyte. Uh, so the idea is to really use and show to you how to, to do that. I'm going to make use of the poll KPI and let's see if everything goes okay. This is a very simple uh, connector we have just to, to make some examples. Uh, we are going to use the PG destination that I have locally here just to show the uh, getting some data from this API and transfer to database and we are going to use the, the normalization process so the local host I have already uh, set up this uh, docker oops make public and post press So at the moment, I set the source and destination, very basic uh, workflow using Airbyte. Oh, come on. Let's see. This is not. Mm. And always doing a demo, this is not so easy. Sometimes you get this. Okay, maybe we are going to change the, the presentation to debug stuff doing uh, a new connection. Mm. Mm. 
Press and password. Oops, and PG test. Okay, <laughs> now we're fine to go on. So I made the connection here. It's validating the destination too. So it, it's a very simple uh, workflow with a depot KPI and a Docker. So here I'm going to add a table prefix and here the frequency to manual. And the first time you're going to run, we are going to use the basic normalization here. Uh, this is to generate the models, and we are going to, to retrieve these models generate and uh, add to our GitHub uh, repository. So right now we start a sync. So uh, starting with the workspace one, so this is our job. We can retrieve the information from here, and there is a lot of things you can dive into the Airbyte server to to discover more things. So this is we are working on the logs to be more user friendly and people understand what's happening, but. You can see it's running and it's already finished. So what we are going to do, I, I have this project here, this repository on GitHub is, I just created this. I'm going to retrieve all the, uh, the DBT model generated. Uh, this is show here on the tutorials. You can see here in this second part how to retrieve the uh, dbt uh, generated models and run locally or uh, on your instance so at the moment so docker cp i already had some example from before so dbt custom and we are need to see here on the airbyte side my workspace at the moment is one zero so I need to change here and I have all the data that Airbyte generates with the basic normalization process. Uh, I can remove this because where's my, my pass and because I'm going to run the custom process, uh, Airbyte had already going to generate this for me, so I don't need to keep that. So. We have the models, all the CTAs and tables here. So if you, we can go here, come here and change uh, things. So the main idea here is just to start a simple process. We are going to add these and commit as initial commit. And git push. Don't do that on your project, but the presentation, I can do that. So the idea now is 
not using the basic normalization, but use this project we pushed to GitHub. So we have the DPT project here. We have the this model with all the information. Argos, there's, there's, one, a, there's something wrong with the screen sharing. So you're, I don't think anyone's seeing the models. Oh, really? Oh, you are seeing the the GitHub page? No, we just see the logs, the status logs. Oh, really? Status logs? Let me stop sharing. Now you guys are seeing the. Yep. So, so okay. do you want to so start start from you want, you want like just I'd restart from like when you were talking about the models just <laughs> oh <laughs> yes uh, cool. please uh, say to me when the things go wrong so here is the the models that is, are generated by the airbyte uh, basic normalization so you can go here and change the columns name uh, columns type uh, you need to dive in a little here uh, exporting the model there is one little tweak we need to add to our documentation for using the output of the uh, base normalization from airbyte is changing this model's path because when we are going to use our custom dbt we need to install the de de dependencies first and out and after running the dbt so we need to do this little uh, change uh, I'm going to commit that. Okay. So right now we we have our project here. I'm going to come back on Airbyte and I'm going to remove the, the basic normalization and I'm going to add these uh, steps here. So the first one I want to use is Debs. I think it's Debs. Sorry. We install all the dependencies from the uh, DBT models. So copy from a project. And because it's already a main branch, I don't need to change that. So just a little bit. So I save this. After that, I can run. OK, run. And I have these. So to use the, the full uh, output from Airbyte, you need to first start the, your dependencies from the dbt. And after that, you can you need to run the model. But before that, I'm going to remove uh, all the tables we have here just to show that it's working. Uh, this is some time for initial users uh, a little confused. Uh, Let's see. Oh, can I remove all the tables? Uh, Marcos Noel has a question. Let's see. Sorry, I, I can't see the questions. What's the question? Uh, here. How, how did the models in DBT get created? Uh, where did the SQL files there come from? Uh, okay, yes, uh, I think Chris is going to answer <laughs> because I see that he's typing. So uh, at the moment, Airbyte, there is a model, uh, a feature of Airbyte that dynamically generated the SQL uh, from, to use with, with DBT. So this is going to read the streams from the, your API. Uh, going to look if it's, it's an object that is a nested field and going to to generate all the, the structure for you. So this is generated uh, dynamically. So 
Okay, we're gonna save these changes. And I'm gonna change my, my source here, just to make another Pokemon and have another column there. Roll. Okay, so gonna here again and just make sure then and gonna sync now. So it's running, but now is using my project on GitHub. So with the dependencies and the models here. Just make sure that's running perfectly. And we can see that uh, it's print all the commits from my repository to, to see what's happening. And take a little longer because now I have two steps. Uh, so they run uh, different uh, containers. So take a, a little more to finish the, the running. Just to show to you guys the Poke, Pokemon. This is the prefix that I add on my, my Airbyte configuration and this is the, the main stream, so the name. Oh, let me. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's see if finish and we can go further. Okay, so succeed. Uh, don't know why. Oh, okay. So we have the, the Pikachu and the Charizard here. So our uh, two uh, syncs. The first one with the Pikachu was running the base normalization with Airbyte only. And the second one was with the, the custom DBT using the output from Airbyte. So the idea now is to create a new model uh, to simulate a, a very simple uh, data mart. So what we are going to do is like create a, a folder and like a strong Pokemon SQL. And what we can use at the moment, there is a lot of output here. So I'm going to use the stats of the Pokemon and some information from here. So what I'm going to do is like I want to have the name. I want to have the base stat. And I want to rename this to status value. And also the name. Sorry, I need to do that with more information to be more clear. Uh, we have the name also, but this is the status name. And at the moment, we are going to use the main table where I have the name of the Pokemon. And I'm going to merge that using a uh, left join with other table. So this is using DBT reference. So it's very convenient to do that. So poke and Pokemon stats. And I'm going to refer this as B. And I'm going to copy this just to be more fast. And because it's not so difficult. But right now, I just uh, let execute that left join uh, with three tables. And we have the name of Pokemon, the, the value of status, and also the name of that status. And what we want to do is filter only for the attack. and 
sorter as a status value. And after that, we need to add here a data mark and schema. We want this data to only save on the data mark. And we have the materialization. We can copy that. Save as a table. So, uh, Just to make sure, I'm going to enter the Postgres and only create a schema data mart. OK, so the idea now is save this commit. And OK. I only use another Pokemon here just to have another example. And because I already uh, generate this data mark, the, fi the final model, we are going to have a, a final table here using the, the references from the base normalization, but going to sort and uh, only for attack and the status. This is very simple, but you can uh, leverage it for your use case, like having the, the GitHub maybe is, is a, a example uh, where you can use the data mart to retrieve some reports and the final result. So I'm gonna sync now. and wait to finish this. So it's running the, the final transformation with our GitHub repository. So I really recommend you guys, if you want to do, uh, there is this final part of the, the tutorials where I explain how to use a public repository. But if you want to use like a private one, it's possible. If you want to pass a, a model only to execute the models, so you also have this option, and if you need to use variables for dbt, this is possible to do too. Oh man, maybe I made something. Ah, oh, oops, sorry. It's very brief. Correct. Uh, correct. DBT. Okay, so we correct this one and we can cancel and sync again. This is something nice to see also. So we have this log and there's something that people have some problem now to, to see how to understand the logs. And we, we can see like a compilation error, the model, the strong Pokemon that the model I add uh, was missing the reference to the correct table.
and sorry uh, passing uh, some minutes but i think now we can almost finish Oh, sorry about that. A little nervous. Oh, no. Okay, ah, a name. Add. So I, I see that I reference again with a, a wrong name, so I need to go back and correct that. That is something that is, with time, with using Airbyte and the, the process, you can uh, understand better the, the errors, but this was very easy to catch. Let's see. And if anyone uh, of you guys want to run uh, this example, you can reach me on Slack and I can help you to, to understand better how to, to execute that and use for your use case and things. Okay, so now it's succeed. Sorry to take so long. We can see here that, oh, sorry refresh we have the data mart now and we have the table oh why don't create the table maybe was address on the wrong okay no was not created on the correct schema but there is something that is only a small thing to do. So right now we have these outputs, uh, sorting only the name, the status, and the attack. Probably we need to, to check because we are doing a paint uh, connection. So we need to only get the, the most recent uh, uh, value to, to bring this to our data mart. I think this is something that I want to show you. There is, I want to see, there's only more further questions. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. I hope you guys like that. I know that's very simple, but I really want to show what's possible to do, like leverage the paste normalization uh, made by Airbyte. So showing how we can can add some things. Okay, I see there is some chat here. Nice. Uh, okay, guys, I think it was that. Uh, any more questions can send on Slack for us, and I hope you like. Any suggestions to improve or topics you like to, to see how to use features, you can send a message to us and we can work to, to do something related to that. See ya.